During the past two weeks, service members from the National Guard and active duty came together to train during the Vigilant Guard exercise and to support local authorities during the Democratic National Convention. Our objective was to have a really good exercise that could help be our train up and JTF certification. Uh, we could make sure we established the JTF and all of our task forces within the Vigilant Guard scenario and then immediately roll into our direct support to the Democratic National Convention and the NSSE. The success of the mission really comes from the partnerships. Uh, it really facilitates the interagency intergovernmental process what I, which I think makes us all more efficient and if we're more efficient, we're certainly then being more responsible with taxpayers' resources, and I believe that's what they're asking us to do today. It gives us the ability to bring in the right uh, force uh, to be able to adapt to a complex situation. And in this case, um, we had multiple different states participating, multiple different capabilities from those states, performing as a task force to be able to support a disaster exercise scenario in which what, that's what we had in Vigilant Guard. It's a national level exercise. It, it provides more resourcing to be able to get more personnel involved, more states, uh, more capabilities. It gives you things that, um, that, that really puts you in a three-dimensional type operating environment. This is you know, protecting citizens. This is protecting families and friends and and neighbors and loved ones, uh, and it's a real mission. Uh, you know, so the opportunity uh, to want to get to, to do something that you, um, you know, believe in is important. The Homeland Res Response Force is a new concept, and it was designed to put these uh, forces together to support homeland security, homeland defense operations. So when an opportunity like this comes up where key leadership from a state asks us to perform or request our support, because of that exercise, because of that experience, uh, we were able to perform our duties. We were able to protect the citizens of this country. We are supporting the processes of a freely elected government. And so our job is to support those authorities, particularly Charlotte in this case, to make sure that those wonderful processes of a democratic uh, government endure. They understand how important it is for the DNC to take place in Charlotte. Their piece is that there's several infrastructures that have been designated as what they call Tier 1 security. And that's various customers that have designated that as infrastructure they can't do without. Um, and that it, that it would hinder the event and it would hinder obviously the, uh, the political process. So uh, we basically took security of that. These guys have been briefed on you know, whether it's a manhole cover or an antenna, it's that important. Uh, you know, for the DNC, we need to be prepared for all things. Here is a regional homeland response force with some critical capabilities that if something went bad, uh, he would have that ready, uh, ready to go in a moment's notice. I think they all truly know the, the seriousness and the importance of what they're doing here. And, uh, and I think you certainly saw that when you went around to talk to them and doing their mission. You certainly saw uh, that they knew what they were doing was extremely important and valuable, uh, not only to the city and state, but also to our nation.